Hi Tarsis, this is that video I said I would send to you. So I've set up a QGIS project just to show you how this is going to work. So the first thing you need to do is export your CSV to a shapefile or a geo package. It doesn't matter which, but you need it stored as a vector layer. So if we open up this uh, reference points shapefile, you'll see that I have four records and then I have the columns or the fields for the records that you sent to me in that CSV. So what we want to do is add a CSV and then append it to this layer so that every CSV that you add or coordinate from a CSV that you add to this layer from then on is added and reflects in this new layer. So let's start off by adding that CSV. So I'm going to select my data source manager and I need to go and find it. It is in tables, reference point CSV, there it is. Okay, everything looks like it's coming in correctly. The X field and Y field are reflected as longitude and latitude, which is good. So this all looks good. So I can click add and close. And there it is down there. Let's quickly give it a color so that we can see it. Okay, so there it is. So now we need to append that into this existing layer. And that really is quite easy. You just right click on your layer and you say export save features as. And then we need to select the existing reference point shapefile which is here, okay, yours might be stored somewhere else. So this is that shapefile that you would have created from the original CSV, just so that you've got some layer to add to. So you can click save. Okay, we can turn this add saved file to the map. We don't need that turned on. And with all these other CRS and everything else fine, we can say okay. And this is where we need to say append to layer. If we select overwrite layer, the four records that are already in there will be removed and then only the new CSV coordinate will be added. We want to append it to layer, so it goes from four to five. So select append to layer. And there we go, it's done. Now you'll see there, you might see that there's no, no obvious changes. You just might need to pan. Okay, panning's not working. So all you need to do is just refresh your view. So click on refresh. And then there's the new point that's been added. So the original CSV can be removed. And there we go. So now if we want to, to add this as the only layer, so we just need to filter on it. Okay, so we're not, we're not adding it, I beg your pardon. We're just filtering on it. So let's filter for that new layer. So we can right click on our layer, we say filter, and then the ID equal to the name of the new record, and okay. And now all the other ones are removed, and there you go. And then you can change this to reflect whatever label you want. But that is essentially how you do that. Um, yeah, good luck with that. Let me know how it goes. Cheers.